So let's start with uh, kind of COVID-19 or coronavirus. I think everyone at this point has heard about it. Most people are uh, being quarantined or staying at home and staying away from people through social distancing. Give us kind of just a one minute, like what exactly is this and why is it different than all of the other um, kind of seasonal things that we would see um, that, that are somewhat related? So I think from a, a high level, one of the, the big differences from coronavirus is it's actually is its mortality rate. That was the big controversy uh, back, you know, three or four weeks a month ago. Was, at first, there was this is only going to stay in China because it's not very it's it's why would it spread to anywhere else? And so what you have to look at is the R naught. So that means for each person that's infected, how many people will that one person infect? And if it's more than one, then that means this has the potential to turn into an epidemic or pandemic, because now more people are being infected than recovering. Coronavirus did. That's what first caught my attention, in, which was, makes it not different from the seasonal flu, like that can have an R naught above one. But then that combined with this amounting evidence, especially with that ER doctor that was kind of the whistleblower on this, when he died, that really got my attention. You can't, uh, you know, that death was, was prominent. He was a young, supposedly healthy ER doctor. This was more fatal than the seasonal flu. You rarely see people from the seasonal flu that are young die, maybe sick, and then elderly people, sure. So the R naught is one thing. And to compare this to other historical, because I know, which I got a lot of flack for this early on in Twitter when I kind of started talking about coronavirus uh, in early February. They were like, just talk about Bitcoin, don't talk about this, don't you, what do you know about that? And one of the things people kept saying is, how is this different from the flu? This is no different from the flu. And, um, it was that, or, or or I was actually so not only for the flu, but the second thing of someone is is they people felt like they were being tricked again by the media, in the sense that SARS was supposed to be this big outbreak that didn't really seem to amount to much, Ebola, but the the differences with SARS, which is why I realized early on this wasn't playing out that way, is SARS was not very contagious before you started having symptoms, so it was much easier to. This is longer than a minute, but. Uh, it was much easier to contain because once you got sick, you you stayed home and then you didn't really infect anyone else. The big difference with COVID-19, novel coronavirus, is that you can be contagious while you're asymptomatic. So you don't know and you're spreading it and then you get sick a few days later, but you already infected two, three, four people. Um, so I'd say that's why this is different than, say, Ebola or SARS. And then it also combines that more fatal element uh, than the seasonal flu. Our bodies are not used to this virus, essentially.